So today we are going to start to learn how to create our coil pots. For the coil pots you need yarn, coil, a cardboard piece with circles, and your needle. So the first step is going to be putting the string through the needle. Sometimes it's tough so you have to pinch the end. You just pinch the end so it's flat and then you pull it through. And then you want to make sure that, oops, not to do that. You want to make sure that the string is doubled so you're just going to pull through till the string is doubled. So, it might get tangled. Just try your best to keep it to the side so that it doesn't get tangled together. So I'm just pulling until they're equal. I can't tell if you can see. Yeah, could you do that please? All right, well, we'll just do it. I'll get it. Joey, you are going to tip something and the iPad's going to fall. Shh, Did you just call me a creature? So now I have my needle and then I have my tail and my tail is even. So it's doubled equally. The first thing I'm going to do is take my tail and I'm going to line the tail up to one side of the coil. I'm actually going to put the tails opposite of each other. So this is one side of the tail, this is the other and they're facing different directions and I'm going to hold it and then I'm going to begin wrapping my string around it Sorry guys. So it's a little tricky once you get started, but once you get the hang of it, it becomes more like a habit. So I'm just holding the tails down and wrapping Oops, make sure it doesn't get wrapped around the other side. There we go. So make sure it doesn't accidentally start getting wrapped around the other side. It's actually easier, so I'm going to show you right now. So the coil keeps getting stuck. If you can just like put the coil over your shoulder so that it doesn't keep getting in your way, that would be a lot easier because then you can just go ahead and use one hand to hold it and one to wrap. Now I don't have to worry about that coil getting in the way. Okay, so now I have my coil started. What I'm gonna do next, this is where I have to sit down. So can you guys keep watching over, make sure. I'm gonna take the cardboard piece that you guys have created and colored with my circles 
and I'm going to actually start to wrap it. I'm going to take the yarn with my needle and I'm going to go under one of my holes that I created and I'm going to pull through the bottom. After I pull through the bottom, bless you, I'm going to hold it tight and I'm going to do the same thing. Again, I'm pulling through the bottom and then I'm going to come around with my hand and wrap wrap the string again so where I left off so one two three four five and then I'm going to turn it after five wraps, you're going to do the stitching again. So you're going to stitch from the bottom again. Go through my next opening. Go up. Up from the bottom. Go around my coil. Pull tight so it starts to connect. And then I'm going to go through the circle one more time. So you do it twice. Each time you're doing a stitch, this is called a stitch, you're going to do the stitch twice. And then I'm going to wrap five times, keeping my needle not too crazy, moving around. So you want to have control of where your needle is. And I'm going to wrap five times. One, two, Three, making sure the wrapping is covering the white. Four and five. So now I'm going to go ahead, do another stitch. You can move the, sh the yarn as you're going so that it looks nice and covered. I'm going to go under and up. And then I'm going to do that again around my coil, under, and around. And then after I've done it twice, I'm going to wrap. So it's hard to hold and wrap, but you guys will get the hang of it as you go. One, two, three four, five. I'm actually going to do a little bit more because it's a little, it's far from the next opening. So I'm going to do five more. One, two, three, four, five. If you notice that your circles are further apart than where you're coiling or where you're stitching, you can just go ahead and wrap longer. And so we're going to continue doing this all the way around until you get to this point. And at that point, all you have to do is continue the two stitch process. So you're going to go under, wrap around twice, stitch twice, and then use your hand and wrap five times and then you move it. After five times, you're going to stitch through the bottom twice. You're going to wrap around and keep moving and moving until you have something that looks like this or like that and eventually like this. So it's a lot of work and a lot of stitching and a lot of holding, but eventually you'll have a bowl, a coil pot made of yarn with three different colors. So you're gonna pick three colors. I hope this helps get you guys started. If not, I can help you during class.
Good luck.